Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'll show you how to create and configure a Deluge Mover script using a couple of plugins and Python. The Deluge Mover script is needed because when the Unraid Mover runs and Deluge is seeding torrents, the files are not going to move. So what we're going to do is use the script to pause the torrents, run the mover action, and then resume the torrents afterward. So let's jump right into it and get the script set up. But before we get started, if you haven't signed up to receive the newsletter yet, it's a monthly publication with Unraid news, written out guides, and more. Also, come join us on Discord. It's a growing community where you can post questions and answers to tech questions, along with just hanging out with like-minded people. Join now so you don't miss out. I'll have links to both down in the description. Under the mover script. The first thing we're going to need to do is to get a couple plugins installed, user scripts, and nerd tools. To do that, let's jump over to our apps tab. We're going to search for user scripts. You'll find it listed as a little old school CRT monitor. You notice that I've already got it installed because I've used it before for other things. If you don't have it installed, then this action button here is going to say install. So you just click on it. It'll go and install the package for you. If you've already got it installed, then just skip the step and we'll go to the next one. Once user scripts are installed, then we'll go back to the top here, take out user scripts, and we're going to search for nerd tools. You'll find it listed below and you'll see I have it installed as well. Once again, this actions button will say install. You click it. It installs. If you already have it installed, you can skip this step. Once those are both installed, let's go back up to settings. Then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and look for nerd tools. And it's right there, a little cogwheel. Click onto there. What we're looking for in here is some Python stuff. So I'm just going to have my keyboard, hit Control F for the find feature and type in Python. And you'll see it finds every Python instance there. There's 13 of them. You know what I'm looking for? So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And right here, Python 3, that's the one we need. And you'll notice off to the right here, it says Python dash PIP and Python dash setup tools. Those are prereqs, so those will get installed with it, which is exactly what we want. So just go down to Python 3 and slide that off to on. And you'll notice the setup tools and the PIP both turned on as well. We're done with this find option. You can go ahead and close that now. I scroll all the way to the bottom and hit apply. You notice here the package manager is downloading the three different packages. Download successful, download successful, and download successful. Now it's going to install them. Once it's done, hit done. I'm going to scroll back down here just to make sure that they're installed. So that is installed and it is up to date. Setup tools is installed and up to date. And then the PIP installed. So it should be good there. Now we need to set up the deluge mover Python file to install on startup. So to do that, let's go back to settings and then look for user scripts at the bottom. There it is. Open that up. Then in here, we need to create a new script. So I'm going to click add new script in the bottom left corner. Then in here, I'm going to name it install requests and then a little note kind of behind it, letting us know what it's for. So it's going to be for deluge mover. Just like that. Then we hit OK. Now, if we look in the list here, we'll find that same install script here, install requests deluge mover. Once you find it, hover over the little gear icon, and then we're going to select edit script. The first line is like the opening statement here. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to jump down to the second one. We need to put in here PIP3 space install request, just like that. So first line you leave alone. Second line is PIP3 space install space requests. Once that's in there, go ahead and save it. Let's save changes. Now we need to change the schedule at which the script runs. Right now it's set to schedule disabled. So we're gonna drop down and we're gonna select at first array start only, because this only needs to install once. Now at this point, if you restart the server, it's gonna do just that. It's gonna restart it. It's gonna run it at the first array start. So when the array starts up, it's gonna kick it off and install it. And if you don't wanna do that, over on the left, right next to it, where it says run in background, you just click on that and that'll go through and that'll run it right now. Once you see that done button, just go ahead and hit done. Now we need to go get the deluge mover Python file and make that into a script for our server. So I'm open new tab in my browser, paste in the location where that file is at. And I've left this down in the description. So you look down there and you'll, you'll find it. Click on the link. It'll take you here. Just click in here somewhere, hit control A to highlight everything. And then I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to open up Notepad++, which is my favorite text editor. You can use whatever text editor you'd like. So I'm going to open up Notepad++. There it is. I'm going to paste that script in. New document here, nothing in there. Paste it in. 
Once you have that pasted in, scroll to the top of that script, and we're going to look for a couple things here we need to change. What we're looking for here is the Deluge web UI. The current information in here is just the placeholder for it. We need to change that to our server's IP address for Deluge, and then make sure that the port number is correct. So let's click on this line here, and I'm going to scroll over a little bit, get rid of the word localhost, and I'm going to add in Deluge server's IP address, which my normal address here. Here you'd put in your server's IP address for Deluge, a colon, and then the port number for your Deluge client. The 8112 is the default port. That's what mine's set at. Next line down is the Deluge password. The default password here is Deluge. The default password for Deluge is just Deluge. If you changed your something else, then set accordingly. Mine is different, but since this is plain text, I'll be changing that off screen. All right, at this point, we need to save this file to a location on the server itself. So I'm gonna go up here and go to File, Save As, and then browse to where I want it to go. So I'm gonna put this on my server, backslash, backslash, and then the IP address for it, 10.0.0.11, whatever your server IP would go in here. And I'll browse there, and then I want it under Data. Then I've created a folder called Scripts in there. If you don't have one, just right-click, New, Folder, name it Scripts. That is not how you spell Scripts, but you get the idea. I already have one, so let's just remove that folder. There's my scripts folder. Open that up. Once you're in your scripts folder, change the file name to deluge-mover.py, P-Y, and hit save. I already have it in here, but I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it. We're done with Notepad++ or your text editor, so you can go ahead and close it. We're also done with the script, so let's go ahead and close that site as well. Well, we're getting close. We're not quite there yet. Now my standard call to action. If you're getting some value from this video, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe while you're down there. And if you appreciate what I'm doing and want to support me, check out my Patreon page and consider supporting me there. Next, we need to set the scheduler to run the script. If you're already in the user scripts page, then just stay there. If not, then you go to settings, you'll find user scripts at the bottom, and that'll bring you back here. You need to create another new script, so click new script in the bottom left. We're going to name this one deluge-mover. We'll find that same named script in the list here, right here, deluge mover. We'll hover over the gear icon and then click edit script. There's also another script down in the description below again as well. And you can just go there, copy that script and paste it in, which I am doing myself right now. You wanna highlight everything here, including line one. You wanna get rid of line one. Then we're gonna paste that script in. It's fairly short. I'll leave it on the screen here for a second in case you didn't find it in the description. You can just pause it, write down what you need to, copy it, paste it, whatever. So one thing I wanna tell you real quick here is that for line three here, it's got Python 3 slash MNT slash user slash data slash scripts, then deluge dash mover dot py. The script that I have in the description down below, I've already updated that. So that information is, is what you have right there. If your script was saved to a different location, then you'd want to reflect that change right here. So line four, Python 3 slash MNT slash user slash data slash scripts, Python mover dot py. If you named your something different or put it in a different location, if you don't have it under a data share, you've got it under a download share or a separate scripts folder or, or whatever the case may be, just make sure that this script here is updated with that same information. So once you've got your script in here and all set the way you want it, go ahead and hit save changes. Now we're going to need to set the schedule for the script to run. Find the script in the list, deluge mover, there it is. Go all the way to the right. And right now it says scheduled disabled. We want to set that to a custom schedule. So you drop down, select custom. And then the cron tab here, I'd set this up earlier, so this is exactly what you want. So over on the right, just make sure you've got zero, space four, space star, space star, space star. You should be all set. What that's saying is it's going to run every day at 4 a.m. Scroll down. We're going to hit apply. And that applies to schedule. And we hit done. Simple as that. Trying to break out some of these videos and make it a little easier for people so that you don't have to watch through a complete video if I redo deluge or something like that which is why exactly why i'm doing this i've redone the deluge video so now i wanted to break this out and have it its own separate video so that it just makes it easier for people if you need to do the mover script and that's it now there's just a dedicated sole video for it so quick and easy and then next time when deluge video gets updated then you won't have to watch the same stuff over and over and over try to make it a little easier on you and just have it broken down into each individual part that you need that being said if you found this video helpful Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And check out one of these next. And I'll see you in the next one. User scripts and nude... Nude... Nude tools?